What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, I'm giving you the guide to my in-game full health build. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, that way the Fault 76 community can see this, and subscribe for more Fault 76 content. Let's get into it. So starting off with the base stats, these are my base stats, and this is how you're going to want them to look like if you want to build the exact build that I'm using. But this is how they look like. Plain Jane, here we go. This is no legendary prayer cards equipped. And now, let's get into the legendary prayer cards. And now starting off in the legendary perks, we have the strength card maxed out. Follow through maxed out. This card is a must because ranged sneak damage increases damage to targets by 40% for 10 seconds. This is a absolute must for our build because we're using a sneak commando gun for our commando build. Then we have intelligence maxed out. Luck maxed out. Endurance almost maxed out and then hack and slash is just sitting in here uh, There's not really any other cards. I could be using for this build. That's gonna really benefit us besides Taking one for a team if we are on a team, but I'm not showing you this build on a team So there's no reason for me to have this even on so yeah hack and slash is sitting in its place right now But these are the legendary prayer cards that I have equipped it now Let's get into the normal prayer cards now starting off on our normal perks, we have 6 in strength, and that is so I can have blocker, because almost every fight, you're gonna have those melee people, and it's very annoying, and it's just best to have this card equipped it. And then I also have traveling pharmacy, because I do carry a lot of stim packs on me. I do use a lot of stim packs in this build, so if you don't have stim packs, go do your daily ops. But this is what I am using to carry all my, my lovely things. But perception, this is where we're getting most of our damage. We have commando maxed out. We have tank killer, your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. This is a must for your pistols and a must for your commando guns. Then I, again I have commando maxed out and expert commando maxed out. Then we have concentrated fire. That's targets limbs focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. I love my vats. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. So I'm definitely going to have my concentrated fire all the way up. And it, it helps, in my opinion. I think it helps. But some say it doesn't. Who knows? Only the Lords of Bethesda know. Then over in Endurance, we have some defense. We have Life Giver. Gain a total of plus 45 to your maximum health. Very, very handy, especially being high health. Then we have Adventium Skeleton. Your limb damage is completely eliminated. I have it completely maxed out, so that's what that does. Then we have fireproof. This is amazing for you know the ones that want to run up onto you and explode with the those super mutants with a nuclear bomb, where you have your scorched beast shooting you. You know they're just attacking. Rah, rah. Well, this is going to save you. Fireproof. Take 45% less damage from your explosions and flame attacks. Plus, it really does help against the legacies. Then we have radical. This this is not really needed. I just don't have another card to fill it. But therefore, my build doesn't need it. Now over in Charisma, we have Lone Wanderer at 3. When adventuring alone, take 15% less damage and gain 20% AP regain. I wish I could max this out. Eventually, I could probably move around some other things. But this is how I run it currently. Then we have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. This is a lovely card. If you're not using Tenderizer, you... You're a disgrace. Anyways, in Intelligence, we have six, just so we can have First Aid, Stimpaks restore 45% more lost health. This is really nice. This part with Born Survivor, which I'm about to show you guys, oh, it is heaven. But I also have Nerd Rage, just in case. Uh, I, don't, I have three extra points that I can move around and do stuff with, but I have not done anything with that yet, so... While below 20% health, gain 40 or 40 damage resistance, 20% damage, and 15% AP regain. I guess that would be a just in case, but it still works. It you know there's nothing really in intelligence I could fill with that unless I'm using explosions and I could go to demolition expert. But I'm not d using any explosions. We're doing a faster fire rate weapons and then just regular commando guns. So you can kind of see the difference between them. But in over in agility. This is where we're getting a ton of defense also. Action points. Action points saves lives, people. Action points saves lives. If you do not have this card or action girl 
or have AP refresh on your armor, you are really missing out. That's all I got to say. Action points saves lives. Then we have evasive maxed out. Each, uh, each agility point adds plus 3 damage and energy resistance. Max 45, no power armor. We're not running any power armor, so this really, this really does help us out. Then we have Born Survivor. This is one that I was saying pairs really, wear really well with first aid. And falling below 40% health while auto or will automatically use stim packs once every 20 seconds. And then whenever it does use the stim pack, you use your your first aid stim pack or just like spam the stim pack button. Your, he your health will go full up, like completely past full health. So then you, even if you are taking like more damage, you're still gaining your health free gain. It's insanely OP and I'll show you how it works. Then we have adrenaline only at two. I wish I could max this out, but... Uh, yeah, I can't unless I take away invasive, which then that's very possible. But I want to show you the this defense without like any armor on and with armor on. So we also have dodgy avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points. Dodgy is a lovely card, but dodgy takes up a lot of action points. That's why we need our action boy. Okay. Just so you know, we'd love our dodgy. Then over in luck, we have 15 in luck, so we can have bloody mess. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode into a glory red paste. I like it. I like it a lot, and it's a very useful card. I wasn't using it in the beginning because I wasn't aware of its amazingness. Bloody mess is a way to go to people. Now that we have better criticals, that's criticals do 40% damage. This is an amazing card because we are using a VATS build and it definitely helps out a lot and you'll see, especially on the non-legendary card or legendary weapons that we have. Then we have Serendipity. While below 30% health, gain a 40% chance to avoid damage. Serendipity is a ridiculously OP card and that paired with Dodgy. If you're not dodging from Dodgy, you're going to be dodging from this card. A must to have. We also have Ricochet, because I do have a, a Vampire's Gun that I like to use for health. And Ricochet, like if you reflect bullets and all that stuff while wearing it, or using a Vampire's Weapon, it will that will also heal you, which is, oh, I love it. But gain a 18% chance to deflect back some of enemies' ranged damage. So if you're getting sworn by Super Mutants, of course this is going to help you a ton. Then we have Class Freak, and this basically suppresses some of our negative effects. But I really wish I could have three because my, my mutations are everywhere right now. But this will work. And then we have, of course, Starch Genes. This is so I never cure my mutations by accident or gain any others that I did not want, which I've accidentally done. But these are all the perks. And now let's get into the armor. Now over in the armor, the armor I recommend you using for this build is a Vanguard set. It doesn't have to be perfect, but Vanguard's grants up to plus 35 energy resistance and damage resistance the higher your health. I'm using this chest piece, and I have a Sentinel's AP refresh for the others. But again, I'm going to be showing you this build without any armor on, just so you know it can still survive. But with the armor, you're going to be a super tank. A super tank. Now, let's get into the weapons. Now, over the weapons, we have two non-legendaries and two legendaries. The first legendary is the Vampire's Faster Fire Rate, 15% Faster Reload Speed, The Fixer. And then we have a legendary Anti-Armor Faster Fire Rate Fixer. And then the non-legendary variants is a non-legendary variant of The Fixer and a suppressed automatic combat rifle. That way, y'all can just kind of get a see of, you know what weapons work or if the non-legendaries are even worthy or if a combat rifle can stand up to the fixer. Now before we begin the demonstrations, these are my mutations. They are kind of everywhere right now, but the ones I do recommend you having are Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Bird Bones, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Speed Demon, and Skelly Skin. Those are the ones I recommend you having. But we're going to be starting off our demonstrations off at West Tech. We have a few super mutants over there. And let's see what gun we are on. We are going to use the suppressed automatic combat rifle. And then we'll switch over to the fixer. So 
Look at that, 119, look at it. Just dropping his health, and this is a non-legendary variant of the combat rifle. Keep that in mind. Now we are going non-sneaking. And now, I am going to actually, oh yeah, okay. I don't even have my armor on, so. We're gonna see my damage resistance without any armor on. That way y'all can see that this build can actually survive. Again, I do have some mutations that are going to be screwing some things up, but all in all, you should be good. This is my this is my survivability without any armor on, guys. Absolutely insane. And then whenever Born Survivor triggers again, I'll use a stim pack so you can see how much it makes my health go all the way up. So, just enjoy uh, enjoy me getting hit. Hello, little puppy. Um, Born Survivor, you can uh, kick it. There we go. And then you use one stim pack, and it shoots your health like all the way up there. That's absolutely insane. Now, let me just kill myself all the way. I'll stand behind here. We'll throw on the armor. And then we'll see how much more I can be able to survive. Yeah. As you can see, it's way more ridiculous with the armor on. That's absolutely insane, guys. And again, we're gonna have the combat rifle. Ooh, not that crazy in damage, but with this survivability, I'm okay with that. And again, this is a non-legendary variant of a suppressed automatic combat rifle. Now let's move over to the fixer. Look at that. 120, 106, 265. You do not need legendary variants in this, <laughs> though they do help. They do help a ton, and I am so grateful for all my legendaries. I will say that. But, yeah, guys. I just showed you this build without any armor on and with the armor on. That's insane. Now, let's see how this works against a bigger target. And now we're at Solomon's Pond, and there's a super mutant behemoth lance over there laying down. And again, I'm going to go in with no armor equipped, and he is going to be hitting a lot harder than those other super mutants. He's going to be taking out more chunks. But this is where the stim packs come in. This is where the the born survivor and the first aid come in. But on this one, we're going to kind of mix it up. We're going to be using a faster fire rate one. And again, these both both of these faster fire rates, they're going to be doing the same damage as, I guess not, as the other fixer. Look at that. Same damage. The only difference is these two are faster fire rate, and this one ignores 50% of your target's armor, which will be handy against heavier targets. And again, it's a vampires. So I'm not going to be doing like crazy more number damage. Not at all. But, I mean, I guess they will work. These are what I use as my full health build anyways. Unless I use a two-shot explosive, but that's rarely because I can't even max it out on this build. So, again, these are the guns we're using. And we're going to jump between the combat rifle and the vampires. So, and again, no armor, and then I will throw armor on. Oh, Lance. So, here we go. Like, yeah. Again, it's not going to do crazy damage, but it definitely is going to destroy through him. Alright, let's take a hit. Let's take a hit. That isn't a true hit. Oh, there's the hit. There's the hit. There's the hit. See, there's it was the unstoppable isotope. That's one of the mutations that's going to be screwing me up. Because I don't need no rats. And we're just taking the hits. Bam. So, there's that without the armor on. And now, again, we will throw the armor on. This is why I say AP is key. AP will keep you alive. Now, do some, do your damage. Do whatever you gotta do. Ow, I guess that hurts, Lance. You seem very angry and very frustrated. For, for I don't know why, you know? You're, like... You did this to yourself. You're the one resting out here, bothering people, always yelling. We got we got a campsite up there. Okay, buddy? Now, uh, this is the combat rifle. Go over to my thing. Suppressed automatic combat rifle. So, look at that. I, I may not be shooting as fast as the uh, other fixer did, but it is still going through him. And full health. We're invincible at this point. We are absolutely invincible. Now let's move on to a bigger target. And now we're at Spruce Knob Lake, and that is so we can take on the Myler Queen. 
We're again going into this battle with no armor on, and then we'll throw on the armor. But we're going to do this one with the anti-armor faster fire rate fixer now, and the regular fixer. We'll start off with the regular fixer, then switch over to my Mew. But I love this gun. Super sick. But she does do poison damage or whatever type of damage that is. So she's going to be taking off a lot of health at first. That's okay. I'm not scared. Come on. So, so we can show them the full power of the full health build. Or the tankiness, at least. Hello? I'm over here. You know? Oh, am I still hidden? And again, look at that. That's the damage on the normal fixer. That's non-legendary variant. I could just slay through her if I needed to. Are you not gonna attack me? Did I do something wrong? Oh, there we go. There we go. We get hit with her, with her poison bubble. Her poison farts. Now, they're gonna tear through me, and that is because that unst Look at that. Woo! Woo! She's a lot more... She's a lot meaner than the, the super mutant behemoth, Lance! But that's okay. This is survivability. This is why we have the first aid again in the born survival. This is no armor. Let me just... You know. You know. You know. Get off my back, bugs. You're lucky that I don't have my exterminator stuff out here. We'll throw on the armor now. Hey, bug. Hey, bug. You ugly. You know that? Now let's see if she can do any damage with all this armor on. I think she can. And we're switching to my... We're doing the faster fire rate one now. So. Let's take this damage. Ooh, not bad. 170s. Myler Queen. This guy keeps hitting me. Where are you? I don't know where he went. Not bad, though. Look at that. Her poison still does a lot of damage, but when she melee, that did nothing. And then again, boom, born survivor and that, you are healed. You are good to go. You are surviving everything that is coming at you. But my unstoppable isotopes really, really messing with me right now. So we're gonna destroy her. Actually, let's switch to the suppressed combat rifle. Oh, don't want to, don't want to drop my camp over here. You can do this if you have just a regular combat rifle. It's gonna take a little bit. We got 42s, but it doesn't matter. You can survive all day. Let's move over to the normal fixer. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. And bam. We survived the wrath of the Myler Queen and her babies. Look at this. I'm surprised that we don't have any diseases. But now let's test this out on a flying target. And now we're at the fiercer site a little bit south. And now we're at the fiercer site a little bit southwest of the White Springs Golf Club. And that is because I have a lovely Scorch Beast that I love to come and pick on that's right above us. But just like the other parts, we are not starting this off with any armor on. We just want to test how well we're going to be able to tank her explosions and all that stuff. So, And then we may also have some gunfire from these guys. And actually, I will start off... We'll just use the normal automatic combat rifle and the normal fixer for this fight. Come on, little lady. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. It's like I have armor on. We can actually even fight those guys over there, too. Give us a full... The, give us the full spectrum of enemies to test our character and our build on. Hello, Flamer. How do we do against flame damage? This is no armor. Oh, my gosh. You hear that? Ooh! Not bad at all. I'm surprised. Look at that. No armor at all. <laughs> if you want to if you want to build guys, here you go. Here's your beginner build. This is no armor right here. This is why you need AP now. 
Okay, let's let's take out these floaters. They're a little bit much. They're too strong. We need we need the normal fixer. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised. We are taking a lot. And they're just exploding. They're ta we're taking so much that they're just exploding. Oh, and the Scorch Beast has landed. The Queen has landed. Alright. Let's take some hits. Because we don't even have armor on yet. So, give us give us your, your wrath. Show us what you get. Is that it? Can I give you some love taps? Alright, let's get some armor on. Honestly, this is your full health build without any armor. That's what you got here, guys. You got a full health build that can survive with no armor, but also becomes super tanky once you put the armor on. Hey, where'd you go, buddy? I wasn't done. I just got the armor. I just got the clothes on. Ah, here. We'll just... I'll shoot your wing. Hey. 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 People want to see you die, including me. Yeah, which is freaking out. It sounds like Rayquaza up there. I know. You're not Rayquaza, though. Look at that floater. Holy cow. Since when did they start flying that high? Is that the Supreme Floater? Come on. Come on, brother. I need you to come down. We need to discuss some things. I get it. You're mad. You couldn't, you couldn't hurt me, and you're not going to hurt me. I'm sorry. You're lucky. Hey, you are lucky I have 341 ammo. You know, dog, bat, whatever you are. Ooh, ooh. If there weren't so many trees here, you'd be dead already. You have no idea. Boom. <laughs> and just like that, after about 600 ammo, the Scorch Beast is dead. Not literally, but not literally 600 whatsoever. But guys, this is the full health build. Again, these are all the perks. You've seen the legendary perks. You've seen my stats. You've seen my mutations. You've seen the guns we've been using. We've been using combat rifles and regular the fixers. We also did use some legendary ones just to throw them in there. But yeah, this is an amazing build, guys. Definitely check it out if you haven't. This is the full health in-game build. And if you enjoy the Fault 76 content, smash that like button, subscribe for more Fault 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.